Welcome back, another tabletop. This is from SDS Imports, now bringing in some of the famous TSOSH pistols. We've got the Zgana F coming up next on GB Guns. So the uh, box itself tells you quite a bit. You get a nine mil with two 15 round mags. It's an aluminum frame, SADA with decocker, hammer forged chrome plated barrel. These were imported some time ago by another importer. I reviewed some of them, enjoyed them quite a bit, and then they disappeared. So I'm really glad to see SDS Imports bringing them back. Here's our pistol, magazine in the gun, spare magazine there. We got a cleaning rod and brush and our manual. Take a look at manual quality just because I like to show you that. Not a whole lot in the way of pictures. Sorry folks, you're gonna need to be able to read. <laughs> Anyways, that out of the way, let me get all this other stuff out and uh, we'll take a look at the gun. So we've got a rather handsome piece, I might dare say. We'll check clear, of course. Magazine does drop out nicely. We've got witness windows on the back where they should be, either there or the left side, because even though I'm left-handed, I shoot right-handed and if I wanna check how many rounds are in. I'm gonna do it like this or by popping there. So the right side windows really don't do us much good. Back side works fine. Looking inside, got nothing. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So first things first, DASA with a decocker. What that means for those of you that might be new to it is it's a double action, single action decocker. Let's say we've just loaded a round or loaded a mag, put it in the chamber, bring that safety down. With it left down, you've got a dead trigger. Push it forward and your first shot will be double action, which means it brings the hammer back and releases. Every subsequent shot will be single action. I was doing that to also show you how smooth the double action is on this and how short the reset is for your next shot. Pretty nice trigger. All right, we've covered that. Coming up front, a little bit of side to side, a little bit of vertical. Barrel is in snug and tight there. Don't have any front cocking serrations. Those of you that want to do the press checks, you're gonna have to have strong hands or just grab here on the back where you've got plenty to grab onto. See our rail has a couple slots. We have serrations on the front of the trigger guard for those that like to hold that way. Nice and slick side, good radius here. And these plastic grips, which add a bit of thickness, also give some contour to guide your hand into the right spot. Got a nice raised shield here over, which I'm assuming is the trigger bar underneath there. Nice some rounded vertical serrations on the front strap. I prefer horizontal, because that's what actually resists the recoil, but it does give you some grip in acquiring the gun. Slight beveling for a magazine well, but on double stack guns, the magazine is your well. Coming on the back side, once again, vertical serrations. I would have preferred horizontal, but it is what it is. A little bit of side to side play, a little bit of up and down play. A rear sight, which looks to be dr drift adjustable. And a nice narrow front sight there should make for easy, precise aiming. Those big dots certainly grab your attention. When coming around the right side of the gun, we don't have any extra controls over here, minus the safety decocker, which of course is the most important thing to have ambidextrous. I don't know if uh, that extractor is going to pop out to indicate a loaded round or not, but this uh, aluminum frame sure feels solid and you can hear a nice solid action. I think this is going to be a pleasant shooter. Next we'll field strip the Zagana F and take a look inside the gun. Having ignored the manual, I'm going to try this blind. We're going to walk to the slide to the rear, also making sure that it's clear, and rotate this lever down. Yes? No. Gonna to have to check the manual. So it's simpler than that. Check this out. We're going to uh, make sure the slide is empty and no magazine in. 
push back on the slide a little bit and bring the lever down. There we go. See, we're lining up that spot on the slide with the frame. Slide comes right off, no need to pull the trigger. Nice safety feature there. We can see we've got some nice long rails. And removing our recoil assembly, we have an uncaptured spring, which is great for being able to swap things out. A steel guide rod, which is great adding weight up front. That usually makes for smoother shooting. Also means it's not gonna flex on us. And there's our nice lengthy barrel. Still has the shipping grease on there, obviously. And looking inside of our slide, we can see generally clean construction. A little bit of dust and dirt in there from shipping. There's our trigger safety. We'll check for chamber support using our nozzle match, as always. What we're looking at there is does the barrel support, or does the chamber support the brass all the way around? We can see there's a little bit unsupported underneath there. That's fine, so long as you're not going to be trying any silly overpressure loads, loads that have been reloaded time and time and time again, or potentially weak aluminum, but uh, that's all up to manufacturing quality. What would happen in a chamber that's not fully supported like this is the eruption would send some of the blast back down into the magazine well and uh, give you quite the surprise. Reassembly. I'm gonna come back, line up those spots, put it back together. Nice and easy. Has a very solid feel to it, as most all metal guns do. Really looking forward to getting this out. The uh, one that we shot before was leaning towards preferring NATO loads, like the, the heavier loads, higher velocity, and uh, would sometimes short stroke a little bit on lighter loads, but it was also a ported version. This non-ported one, we'll get out and uh, see what it likes. This is the Zagana F from SDS Imports. Let me know if you shot one of the older ones. If not, why not? <laughs> and we'll see on the range.